Hello and welcome to this new video in the Databricks playlist. In this video, we will see new examples related to pivot and unpivoting on Databricks. So let's get started. I already have copied the code to read this file called orders.csv, which we have been using. I'm executing this one. So this will be just like an extension on the group by command that we have seen earlier. Just waiting by to load the data and we have it here so let's take this all as df and let's start some basic thing just a group by statement on country we have seen this already so I say orders df dot group by and then in group by I say I want to group by country dot sum of and then say sales amount let's say let's name this as pivot df is equal to this and then call this in display pivot df though we haven't yet applied the pivot yet but just to start so here what we are doing is we are grouping by country so what we will get is country wise total sales now what we want to do is remember pivot is an operation which will transform rows into columns so here what I wanted is, let's say I want total sales for each product in each country. So whenever you are creating a pivot, you also have to understand. Let's put products in the rows and countries in the column. The reason is because uh, it becomes a good view. If you have more number of products, keep them in rows and the less number of items are in countries. So we'll push them in pivot. So what we'll do over here is I'll copy this name, English product name. And we'll group by English product name rather. So this will run in this way. So there's 130 rows. And then before doing some, we just apply pivot and say I want to pivot by country. Remember, pivot transforms rows into columns. So once I execute this, I will get in the headers, in the column headers, I'll have the name of the countries. And on the left hand side in the rows I'll have English product names so as you can see here English product names are 130 unique rows whereas in headers we have columns for each country Australia Canada, Australia Canada France Germany India Italy and United States that's why I didn't choose English product name in the pivot because else it would have become 130 columns in the data frame so choose very smartly as to how you want to pivot it Moving on further, now instead of sum, you could apply any aggregation that we have seen earlier in aggregations video. I'll copy this. Here, you could also include multiple items in the group by clause as we have seen earlier. So let me scroll up. Let's identify some column. Let's say for now, I'll just take product key for now. Just to show you an example. So here I say in double quotes comma product key just an example to show you an interpretation how the multiple with the group by works so it will remain the same here instead we should have called pivot df2 because it is displaying us the original view of pivot df So here we have two columns on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we should have all the rows, all the columns. Moving on next down, this was about pivot. Now in Scala there is no unpivot operator as such. If I have to just copy this code and come down and then say dot unpivot you will not find anything in the, the way you find pivot. So what we do is there is a way through expression we can achieve this. Let us understand what unpivot operation is. Remember, pivot will transform a row into column as you can see the output of this pivot df. Now unpivot will be transforming columns into rows. So let's say I'll keep the English product name as it is because it is already in rows. Whereas I want to transform these countries which are in 
columns and I want to bring them back to rows. So currently in this pivot df we have 130 rows. So let's take this pivot df come down since we wanted a transformed a pivoted data so I'll say pivot df dot select we can either use select or select expression now the only difference is I want to write expression so inside I can call expression or I can just say select expression over here now here what I want to do is I want to select few columns so from this I will only select English product name this is the column that I want So in double quotes, I can mention this and then comma. Now we want to transform the columns. Let's just first only pick few countries, Australia, Canada and France, for example. So these are three countries. So here what we do is we use uh, an expression in that we use stack. In this, how we write is the number of columns you want to transform. So there are three comma. In single quote, we write the name of the items Australia and then in normal I mean without any single quotes we repeat the item so this is the text that we want to pull and this will become the item rather and in the similar way we will repeat the other things Canada comma Canada comma and then let's say France and France and close the bracket for the stack after this as now when you use as we want to rename so this will be unpivoted and two columns will be created one will be the country and one will be the sales so here again in bracket you will type the name of these columns as country comma sales no double quotes over here since these are columns so this closes the bracket for the renaming and then this way Let's mention this as unpivot df is equal to this and then let's say display unpivot df. So this should now bring in those columns into rows. Here we have it. How can we verify if our answer is correct? Two ways. Firstly, look at the count. These are 390 rows. So we have only chosen three countries. If you look at the original pivot df, it had 130 rows. So 130 into 3 becomes 390. Alternatively, you can also sort the country, for example, and look at first few rows like Australia 196303. Here is the combination for this product. For Touring 1000 Yellow 46, it is 66753 and so onwards. Now, keep in mind what will happen. Why we chose three is because we only wanted three columns. We wanted to transform three columns. If I write four, for example, what will happen is you will not get error. Instead, null rows will be created for country and sales. Now you see 13, 113 to four becomes 520. And if you sort this in descending order, you will see all the nulls until row number 130. So if I scroll, have a look over here, 130. So here I only transform three and instead if I wanted to do all of them just take the count seven and mention all the country names or the column names in this way first in single code then without single code that's how the syntax about stacking so this was about uh, just an alternative to unpivot the data I'll just run it again so I don't have nulls so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned